My class leveled up. Yay. Am I so naive? Do I know so little of the world? That is chat one, chapter two, start more or less. You slot three for, chap for chapter three. Four weeks have passed since the Archaeopolis of Rhyme fell to the Bakram armies in hard-fought battle. Swift on the heels of their victory, the Bakram continued their southward march, advancing until they met an unyielding line of fierce Wallister and Galgastani resistance. This left the Gulborza plain locked in a bitter stalemate, with neither side able to score the decisive blow needed to gain the upper hand. Abuna Branton, leader of the Bakram armies, knew that a quick solution was needed. Though their forces stood balanced, should Duke Ronway succeed in bringing the whole of the Gargastani army to his side, the scales would tilt sharply in the Duke's favor. For a third time, the Abuna beseeched the Dark Knights for aid, yet they showed no signs of stirring from Bidok Castle. Unsure as he was of his own forces, Duke Ronway took little consolation in the Dark Knight's restraint. In private, he'd begun to wonder whether the pact he had struck with them still held. Now, both sides watch and wait for the stone that will tip the balance in their favor. That's ominous. To do with you, Barbus. One cannot deny your coordination. How could that leave in the high champion is strictly forbidden, whatever the circumstances? I'm gonna give you order to return, and each time you've ignored your orders. Only now do you deign to grace these halls. I am all. Calling, yes, the obstinate out. Go on. I beg for you. You talk too much, Martin. I am an ill temper. What was I to do? Die the regent? Impossible. You do not answer to Brantwin. Speak true. You knew you learned that the Zenobian knights were in rhyme and sought to do battle. Is it not so? Enough, Balzahan. What's done is done. Welcome back, Lord Commander. The Ozma and Oz come. What word of the what? Run their troops in Galbroza. They do not make the march. I should think not. Duke has a but a tenuous. Batch and envoy. We're going to position the Duke and renew our vow to remain on the line. Bakram? I can't imagine the regent sits idle. Brantman will be made hereford. His age old wish fulfilled. If that does not content him, content him. Since one of the Isles is not a mandate, nor can we afford the Zenobians to visit the other one. Elsewise, if we were to avoid giving them we are to avoid giving them cause to intervene in Valeria, to shun the sword and fear. Long as we are the advocates of peace, they dare not act. Is that clear, Barbus? Sending you to hide. I'm his leagues from the front. Eddie Barbus, I intend for you to serve as Castellan for the regent. Buna Prancet was being held in Heim County. Fortunately, a band of rebels saw fit to free him. 
What? The work of the Liberation Front. Out. Regardless, I'd prefer our trash from here. On the floor is whereabouts of Lunas, and now they're both. The only man who might have gone missing. Thomas, I task you with the mission of unmost impact. Recapture Abuna Pratsit. Whatever the Yes, Lord. Two of you are to deal with the Liberation Front. Long, too long have we tougher them to move on. The honor of Las Clasius, my brother and I, will see it, sir. Common rebel, will be little. And though our search for Manaflora is to continue, you and Martin are to proceed with our negotiations with the Duke. Wishes, so tough. A part of the Galgastani have joined our call. Half the men, perhaps a little more. Another third have deserted. The rest are loyalists and will cleave to Balbatos onto the bitter end. Do as they are, they are the backbone of his army. The best of the best. The support in the crofts and villages run deep, they'll not fall easily. It would be better to see that they do. Try not to. I'll be done. Back from those saw no signs of foot of moving further south. That's all this. That. Perhaps some faint breath remains in our pact with the doctor. Let's send another envoy to remove all. You, my hero, that hunt down Vice Bozak, who fled behind the enemy's lines scarce a month. Must must we avenge ourselves upon him? I understand the creature you Indeed, he must seem a strange speech. You and I share common conviction, however different our methods. But why would you have returned to my halls? Vice is different. He fights not for convictions or ideals, but of some base bloodlust. Guided by higher philosophy, he acts without thought. Judged by your measure, he is useless. How must and how that must end the Now he thrusts this rage at you, his one time friend, hero to all the world. I don't hope that Vice might return this past. Too much time. Were you wait any longer, we risk him becoming a grave threat to our resistance. Put a price on his head, is that going too far? Pains me, truly. It is the needful course. Is he nothing in his defense, Denim? Do not look for vice to return, not while I'm still. Never, my words fall on deaf ears. He's got a personal vendetta against me. Uh, if I go looking for him, he'll come out and we can try and talk it out in private. Fine, do as you like. Atia! Here go, Denim. We are agreed. Oh, I nearly forgot. Sir Mirden has. Has? Are there any others? He and War. Warren suffer a grievous wound. None of a visit from you would do much to cheer him. Been sent ready, Sir Leonar. I'll join them with all haste. Venom lets away. No such ill with you. It is our duty. You know, if I have to screw you, if you try to screw me again, I'm going to wreck you. Wow, we're going straight to a fight. Bunch of level 11s. So,
All right, I've got music. I've got to probably the best we can get. Them. So we're call it there. Let's call that for our equipment. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. I also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.